What's up, Trainiacs? Welcome to this week's Triathlon Newsday Tuesday, where in this week's edition of Newsday, Coaches of the Year are announced. Unfortunately, some Ironmans are cancelled while others are born for the first time, and another pro joins the YouTube game. Let's do it. What's up, Trainiacs? Welcome to this week's Triathlon Newsday Tuesday, where every single Tuesday, as long as there is news around the triathlon world and I'm not traveling, we talk about what's going on all around the world in triathlon. As always, make sure you stick around to the end where we share everyone's favorite part of Triathlon Newsday. That's a story from the Trainiac community. We have a really good one in honor of Father's Day and some of the new announcements. In addition to that, full links to everything we talk about will be in the description below. Now let's start off with the announcement that USA Triathlon made announcing their Coaches of the Year. And they announced three coaches in three different kind of buckets of coaching performance were announced as Coaches of the Year. The National Coach of the Year was Ian O'Brien of Origin Performance. The paratriathlon coach of the year was Derek Williamson, who is the head coach of the Toyota USA paratriathlon resident team. And Chrissy Lausch was announced as the developmental coach of the year as head coach of the Mini Cow Tri and MC Elite team. Congratulations to all those three coaches. I hope someday I can meet you. Reach out, say hi via Instagram if uh, you see this. Two of our favorite people, Sarah and Ben True, have launched their very own YouTube channel. I didn't even know this. I talk to them all the time. They have launched the Sarah and Ben True Tube YouTube channel with a really good first video that is very much in line with what Sarah and Ben are. They're goofy, they're fun, they're genuine, and they're very giving. They want to launch this YouTube channel, kind of how they agreed to become instructors for protriathlontraining.com. They feel a need to give back to the sport that has given everything to them in their life. So go subscribe, check it out, watch the video, and support and hang out with Sarah and Ben True. A couple of my faves. Now the newest full distance Ironman in North America was announced last week and it will be after a showdown between it and three other potential cities Ironman Tulsa in Oklahoma will take place for the first time May 31st, 2020. Now this is the first of a multi-year agreement and Tulsa beat out three other contenders being Des Moines, Fayetteville and Memphis. Now this comes just shortly after the announcement that Ironman Boulder that happened just a couple of weeks ago would be the last time Ironman Boulder is held. In addition to that, Ironman Boulder has said that half Ironman Boulder 2020 will take place, but that is even in question. So here we've got Ironman opening up shop in one city, closing shop potentially twice in another city, which is really like the endurance training mecca of North America. And this goes to show a lot of what I talk about in an upcoming video that I'm doing, discussing the state of Ironman racing that while it seemingly is growing by leaps and bounds and we've got this wildly successful World Triathlon Corporation that runs it, it isn't all just roses. It's a very tough industry that companies are having a very tough time in. So if you wanna make sure that you see that video later this week when it comes out, hit the subscribe button below. Now in race news, it was a very actually quiet week on the circuit. 70.3 Les Abelles Delon was won by Frederick Van Leerd and Francesca Sanjana. Half Ironman Luxembourg also happened over the weekend. It was won by Lucas Voigt and Imogen Simmons. And then challenge, can people please phonetically spell this for me in the comments? Gerardsbergen was won by Peter Hemrick and Daniela Blamel, who were both the favorites to win and that half Ironman distance challenge race. FYI, Challenge Roth is about three weeks away and I'm scared. 
Now, before we get into the last final updates, which are always very, very popular, we want to thank. This video is brought to you by The Magic Five, my swim goggles and pro triathlete Ben Knut's swim goggles. The Magic Five makes swim goggles that are custom fit to your beautiful face. Just download their app, 3D scan your face and order a set of goggles with the gasket custom molded to your exact eye socket. The Magic 5 goggles fit without leaks or having to smash those goggles into your eyes and you will have more viewing area than you've ever had with any other set of goggles before. Check them out at themagic5.com. Now moving on to a couple of updates for the Triathlon Terran podcast. We just released a very, very quickly popular interview with Cam Worf where we talk about just how obsessed he is with me. It's almost creepy. I could feel him undressing me with his eyes over the phone. Jeez, Cam. And right now, like 58 minutes from now, we will be interviewing Matt Bottrell of Bottrell Performance Coaching, who's become one of the real premier coaches in pro and amateur triathlon coaching. And he's got a real habit because he was a, himself a former pro cyclist of getting people really, really strong on the bike. And we're going to dig into what he feels are the key points that are required for amateurs to develop strength on the bike. Now, let's get into today's Trainiac story and in honor of the new Tulsa Ironman and this past Dad's Day. Happy Dad's Day to all the dads out there. I want to share a great story which goes, my name is Troy Rogers from Oklahoma. After competing my first triathlon last week in rough weather and planning my next few, I decided to share why I'm doing this. A few years ago, I sat next to my dad in the hospital. Under doctor's orders, his recovery for heart surgery was supposed to include lots and lots of cardio. He hated the thought of it because he and I, we were tough guys. We would lift weights and scoff at people who would run just for fun. He told me that he would do what his doctor ordered as long as I would do it with him and I committed to do that with him. We agreed that we would change our lifestyles and we would run races together. Unfortunately, my dad never got the chance to do that as he passed away before his surgery. In the aftermath and grief, I allowed my health to go south. I gained weight, felt terrible all the time, and it affected all areas of my life and work. I wasn't the husband, father, or minister that I should be. I kept thinking about my dad and the two of us planning on running races together, and this is when I found triathlon. It's more than a race, it's a true challenge, both mentally and physically for me, and it's exactly what I needed. Triathlon helped me take back control over my health and it set me on a path that I committed to go down with my dad. My first 10 mile bike ride of training took me more than 58 minutes and I couldn't swim 50 meters without stopping. I couldn't run half a mile, but today I swam 500 meters, biked 12 miles and ran 3.1 miles, all uphill, at least that's what it seems, in one hour, 39 minutes, finishing fifth in my age group. My dad is the best man I've ever known, showed me what it takes to tackle challenges. I started this journey to better my health and to honor my commitment to my dad. I'm currently planning a race of a 70.3 in September, then Lord willing, I will step up to the full distance Ironman in 2020. When I step across that finish line, hear the words, you are an Ironman, I would like to say that my journey will be complete. But really, who am I kidding? I'll just sign up for a next one. Sincerely, Troy Rogers from Oklahoma. Thank you so, so much for sharing that, Troy. I'm sorry to hear about your dad, but I'm glad that you are continuing his memory with something that is so personally rewarding for you. And thank you very much for sharing that story. So if anyone else out there wants to get their story shared, can be anything really, any story about how triathlon has affected your life, email it in to us with some race photos at Taryn at triathlonterran.com. And if you like these Newsday Tuesdays, which I know a lot of you do, hit that subscribe button below. Later, Trainiacs. That wasn't bad. Not too bad.